This video describes the interpretations that you can do with your Medmon E300 corneal topographer. Select a map or numerous maps, go up to display, and under the pull down menu here, you'll notice a series of options axial, tangential, elevation, and so on. Axial is one of the most commonly used interpretations of corneal shape, and what it does is it tells us the powers that are distributed across the anterior surface and how that might contribute to the patient's acuity or refraction. In this case, we see within the pupil, this patient has this figure eight or hourglass shape, normal in an astigmatic eye, that it's fairly regular. The superior is a close mirror of the inferior, nasal a mirror of the temporal. This patient would be described as having regular as opposed to irregular corneal astigmatism. Now clearly it's not completely symmetrical, but this eye wouldn't be deemed irregular because the eye isn't completely um, asymmetric. So axial is to understand the power of the eye. We can click our cursor anywhere on this map and understand the power at that particular point. If we were to change the apical corneal power from 47 diopters, 0.16, then this refraction would change by an equal amount. In other words, if we change the apical power by one diopter, we change the refraction by one diopter. So again, axial is for power. Axial to interpret is it with the rule? Is it against the rule? Is it irregular or is it regular corneal astigmatism? Now we might go to the next one down on the list, the tangential power. And tangential is to understand the shape of the eye. In this case, we can see all the color contours appear to be pulled or stretched inferior or slightly temporal. For instance, this hottest contour appears to be pulled below the pupil. Again, the next red color pulled inferior temporal away from center, as well as the other contours. So if we were to place a rigid contact lens on this patient's eye, we would expect that lens to want to position slightly inferior and slightly temporal of the visual axis or the pupil. We could pull up the elevation map, another commonly used topography interpretation. And what this does is tell us where the eye is high in elevation and where it's low. Where you see red is where the elevation of the eye is high. Where you see blue, that's where the elevation of the eye is low. Now as an example, if you look down here at the best fit sphere, it's telling us that 7.4 millimeters radius is the closest sphere or what's described as the best fit sphere for this particular eye. Now based on that 7.4 millimeter radius, at the center, there, the two surfaces are in alignment. The surface of the sphere and the surface of the cornea are in alignment. There's zero elevation. However, if we were to click our cursor in this red, we see the elevation of the eye is 150 mic 115 microns above the surface of the sphere. If we click our cursor over here, it's 63 microns above the surface of the sphere. If we click our cursor in the blue, however, we notice that the elevation of the eye is lower than the sphere. So what this tells us is that an RGP dropped on this patient's eye is going to hit where you see the reddest contour at three and nine o'clock, and it should lift the most down here at six o'clock where the eye drops in elevation the most. So axial for power, tangential for shape, and elevation for the height of the eye.